Hello, my little woolly. In this tutorial, I'm sharing how to knit this beautiful two row repeat pattern. It's easy to do and to memorize. It lays flat no matter what you do. And to me, it's a reversible stitch because the other side of the work looks great too. I think it's ideal for scarves, blankets, and also infinite cowls. This is the other side of the work. It creates like vertical stripes. And I'm teaching you how to do it in both English and continental style. So if you can knit and work, this stitch is for you. Grab a little bit of yarn and needles and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of five. For example, five times three, 15 stitches. First row, right side of the work. We start with net one, and now comes the repeat, what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find all my patterns on my website, sewwoolly.net. There is a link for you below this video on the description box. So, the repeat is net three, one, two, three, yarn over, bring the yarn to the front and place it onto the right hand needle, and net two stitches together. It could be harder the first time because we haven't needed any rows yet. So help yourself with the tip of the needle and knit both together. That's it. Let's do it again. Knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, knit two stitches together. You can stretch them before knitting them together. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are only four stitches left. Ending with knit four. One, two, three, and when you get to the last one, only on this first row, work it through the back loop. So knit the last one through the back loop. And be careful not to split the yarn. That way we can avoid a huge loop there. Second row, right side of the work. We start with knit four. One, two, three, four. And now comes the repeat. Bring the yarn to the front, slip one stitch as if to purl, just pass it onto the right hand needle as if to purl, and now we're going to close this yarn over and purl that stitch through the back loop. Let's do it again. Purl the next stitch through the back loop. Place the needle from back to front and purl that stitch. And now bring the yarn to the back and knit three. One, two, three. And repeat. With yarn in front, slip one purl wise, purl the next 
through the back loop, insert the needle from back to front and purl that stitch. So we close the yarn over and there is no hole. Bring the yarn to the back and knit three. One, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with knit one. So that's it. These two rows create the pattern. Now, if you need continental style, it means you hold the yarn with your left hand all the time. Row one and every odd row. We start with knit one, and now comes the repeat. Knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, and knit two stitches together. You see how easier it is now. And repeat. Knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, knit two together. And repeat. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are only four stitches left, ending with knit four. Three, Second and every even row. We start with knit four, one, two, three, four, and now comes the repeat. Bring the yarn to the front, slip one as if to purl, and purl the next through the back loop closing this yarn over. Insert the needle from back to front and purl that stitch. And knit three. One, two, three. And repeat. With yarn in front, slip one, purl wise, and purl the next through the back loop, inserting the needle from back to front, and purl that stitch and knit three. One, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with knit one. So that's it. These two rows create the pattern. Repeat them until you reach the desired length. When finished, you can bind off on the wrong side of the work, purl wise, or on the right side of the work. Netwise. And that's it for today, my little woolly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting!